Kuchul. Kuchul. Okay, the last. Yeah. Ba- bago yung killer question ni Alex, punta muna tayo sa napaka-busy na si Albert Abelito. Oh, Professor na uh, vlogger pa. Ano ba ba? Account lang. Account lang. <laughs> Hey, wow! Professor Black, nagturo ko ni Nene. Um, Ima Boy, congratulations. Um, um, your first question ko is, ano kino consider mo sa grado sa paggawa ng teleserye? Uh, sa grado yung commitment mo dapat. Sa grado yung uh, time. Sa grado yung respeto mo sa character. At saka sa istorya at sa buong project. That for me is very sacred because you want to be part of a team, not be, you know, opposing or being the problem or the cause of the problem. Uh, that for me is really sacred kasi hindi lang naman ito about you. You know, this is, a, you know, you're just part of a bigger whole. That for me is sacred, you know, when you give your time, hindi ka pabigat. You know, you really give it, you really give your best and you make sure na you're, you're you know, You're on the same page with everyone. And the second question ko is, working with this um, young Maybe stars, so, <laughs> working with these young stars up today, um, ano yung parang masasabi mong sana natututunan na nila as an actor as compared to what you have had experience oh, okay. when you were younger? Uh, in all fairness naman, I mean, you know, the reason why they're on top of their game is because they're really dedicating their life, you know, and their effort to learn. So, from my time, as compared to now, I could see their commitment, I could see their, uh, yung, when they're given something, you know, they're all willing to learn, especially when we were starting having a lot of young guys, you know, for the fraternity. Parang, you know, uh, in the course of time, magkakalaglagan eh. So, I saw the commitment of everyone, you know. Parang ito yun, ito na yung chance mo to shine. So, I guess it's inevitable for everyone to show up and make sure na you know, get seen, na nakikita sila, and uh, they leave an impact. So, the generation right now is very practical in terms of that because they know it might be their first and last project. So, they're more practical in that sense that they give it their best. Not just the two of them, but you know, uh, these are young stars. I mean, they started really young. So now, we're on the same page in terms of our commitment to whatever we do. Be- because we all grew in the same industry. But uh, I-, I really appreciate the commitment that they have now. I guess that's why, you know, they're playing leads. And then your last question, Carl, is, um, in terms of input in the teleserye, ano yung pinaka-proud ka na na-contribute mo sa teleserye na? Uh, I guess, same as what I said uh, from the previous question, you know, I was there, I was present. I made sure that I gave life to a character na may kapupulutan ng aral, you know, from the time that he uh, was really uh, a bad guy down to his redemption. I guess what I gave for it is what I can say, my, uh, uh, you know, my, my token of appreciation. Not just, you know, how much I'm paid or... Uh, because I had to do it, but I was there. I'm always present in everything that I do. I always make sure that uh, I grow with the character, then and I, and then I become the character instead of him uh, making uh, making it more like me. So that's the fun part, you know, that I'm able to enjoy right now and be part of projects such as Pagmila Sagrado. Uh, you get back by giving it your best, you know. Yung commitment lang talaga ang importante and uh, willing to learn, willing to grow, and to collaborate. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Albert. Appreciate ko lang sa inscription. Just stay. Thank you for staying. Nagsin pa siya sa patrolan mo ba? Ay, no. Nagpapatay lang siya na ako na sa dito. Sabi ko lang, sabi ko lang, the longest time na nang stay siya sa isang media ko. Oh, ano? Talaga na nang sa pupan. Kay Jody, you stay na. Matagal ako. And then, early bird si Greta. Thank you, Greg. Kasi nga naliligaw. Naliligaw ng tutoy. Ito kay Kuya P. And napagbigyan naman yung kaya so early. Kaya nag-match talaga yung schedule. Nakakatuwa lang. Yes. Partner, we are down to our killer question. Come from? Ito, Alex. No other than the feisty Alex Colossus. Feisty, yes. Go, Alex. First of all, thank you, Viola, for that. Thank you, 
worst thing you could have. We will forever be indebted. To oh, no, 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 sorry. Ah, uh, tawag dito. Uh, my question is, uh, this is the first time that you've worked na ang team ay political family. Yeah. Diba? Uh, uh, it revolves about the political saga mm -hmm. and the political drama of a family. Right. What life lessons did you learn out of Familia Sagrada? A lot. You know, just being a father, being a person, being a human being, being a son, and being real. The uh, authenticity of the character niya, it transcends. So, I was really able to appreciate the human side of the character that I portrayed, not just because he comes from a political family, but he comes from just a normal, you know, unit, uh, which is, you know, his family. And growing with him, uh, for six months, I really appreciated his humanness. I don't know if it's such a, if it's such a word, uh, if it's a word, uh, but you know, very, very uh, sensitive. You know, in terms of how he had to craft uh, his scenes, and I really, I really just enjoy portraying someone who's really, uh, who's almost like a real person. You know, when I had different pegs for the character. I enjoyed doing. I enjoyed the process because uh, you know it made me uh, look at my character from that perspective. You know, if, if I were to play a politician like in real life, union, you know, mga life lessons ko. You know, uh, but bottom line is really, you know, it all goes back to family. You know, and your appreciation of that unit of our society, knowing that you, you, the things that you do uh, will not just echo in eternity, but it will have a ripple effect, you know, with the people around you. So it's important for you to do what is right, not just for yourself, for, but for your family. Uh, as Rafael Sal uh, Sagrado, you came from a political family, di ba? Uh, as Rafael Sagrado, you've won some wars and lost some battles. Right. What were the wars worth losing and what were the battles worth winning? The battles worth losing, I guess, are the battles that you learned from, the battles that made you a better person. And the battles that uh, I won were things that, you know, I stood for myself and that I believed in. So it's important that you know your core. And uh, in the course of time, through the course of the story, there were a lot of conflicts, a lot of battles that we had to confront. And the good thing about it, you come out a better person. So with all the battles that you face, whether good or bad, uh, Outcome-wise, you learn from it. Yeah. Uh, a very political character, si Rafael Sagrado, di ba? Right. Ano yung matutunan mo sa kanya at ayaw mong matutunan sa kanya? Uh, uh, the, the thing that I really, uh, and I guess, I learned from him was yung love for the family, love for his kids, love for what is right. And the thing that I didn't want to take from him was yung evilness, I guess, you know, yung greed, you know, just because we're uh, born into a political family, it doesn't mean, it doesn't give you a choice, you know, to be a better person, to be that person that, you know, hopefully the sons can look up to, or the audience, or, or uh, his con constituents can learn from. I guess, uh, yeah, but uh, just, again, bottom line is, he was, a, he was a human being, he was a person, and there were a lot of learnings along the way that I uh, took from him as a character. Oh, one last question. What are you more of, Rafael or Sagrado? Uh, I would I'd say Rafael because he's more of a person than having to deal with his last name. Because Sagrado entailed a lot of drama in his life. If I were just to be one person, I'd be a Rafael that I can you know, make myself and create a person out of that character. You know, it's so hard because when you know you're a sagrado in, in this uh, drama in this series, it came with a lot of issues. It came with a lot of conflicts, and it's hard to deal with that. You know. Thank you. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Hey, go to Bobby. What are you more, Bobby or Kiki? We are for the last questions, Arkin, because with the almost thirty years in the span of career, mo never na ng low moments. You've been blessed. Do you still pray for 
meaning ako pa kay Lord? What do you pray when you start the day? Oh, ano pila dada sa uh, You know what? Thanks for that. Because of last few weeks, uh, I actually thought of that. Like, what am I doing? What am I doing? What I'm doing? So I go. I realize, you know, you have to have a purpose. You know, so I always pray for that. That I have a purpose for my day. That I have a purpose for whatever I'm doing, and that's what I pray for. You know, otherwise, walang silbi yung buhay mo if you don't live out your purpose and don't pray about it. And always being humble, knowing that, you know, you're not the center of the universe. And uh, you just pray to always be humble and just to be grateful and to be a conduit of God's blessings, you know. And just keep on uh, uh, sharing, not just necessarily blessing others, but, you know, sharing your life with others, others by your mere presence and, you know, try to, you know, make everyone happy around you. Never mo naramdaman na may nawa may stage sa buhay mo na walang purpose. Yeah, you know there are moments. There will always be moments. Uh, tao lang tayo eh. So that's why you have to constantly pray about that because madali tayong masila, madali rin tayo ma 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 sidetrack. So it's important for us to always go back to our core, which is our faith, and that's the most important thing for me uh, because I know. My son, you know, looks up to me. There are people that look up to me, my family, my, my nieces, my nephews. So you don't want to do it right, you know, for them. So you pray for that. You pray for that good heart. So at least, you know, they can learn from you. Okay, that beautiful question from me. Kuya P, paalis ka nga maya. We wish you, we wish you good luck sa concert, sa tour. You'll be gone for two weeks. Sana pagbalik. Um, Let's meet up again and make balita. You have anything more to say, eh, Aaron? Talagang tawad to ni Papa. Wow. Yes. My thank you, thank you, Aaron. My contribution. Wait, I'm back. Thank you, everyone. And thank you for joining. And uh, uh, It's going to be Christmas season. It's already Christmas season. So uh, let's not overwhelm ourselves. And uh, yeah, thank you for supporting our show and uh, for uh, always being here. You know, uh, we're just in one business. So I really appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you. Ah, okay, Christmas special ka siyempre. Yes, of course, yeah. I'd like to thank Kuya Romel Zarate, our cameraman for today for Pachon. Let me sketch. Sama niyo kami, Mark. Alright, so we...